Okay. So now I want to show you guys basically how to install WordPress onto your domain. So basically what you'll do, you're going to go back to bluehost.com and then you're going to use your username and password that they gave you when you signed up for Bluehost to access your account settings. And then from there, they'll have an option where you can install WordPress, which will basically allow you to operate WordPress on your site and all of the themes uh, that are necessary to publish. So again, it's a very simple process. Uh, we'll just go to bluehost.com and then you'll click login here in the top right. Now they already remembered my username which was good and what I'm going to do I'm just going to type in my password here so let's see So you type it in and then you get to your actual page. You can just X that out. What you want to do, you want to go here to this cPanel uh, menu, uh, but they also have it here uh, where you can install WordPress directly. Um, but if that isn't an option, you can always click on cPanel and what it's going to do is going to log you in again and it says website builders install WordPress so you'll click there and then again it'll tell you a little bit information about WordPress um, what you want to do is just click install here and then it's going to take you to this page where it asks you which domain you want to use so here all you do will just type in the name of your website um, that you signed up for when you signed up for Bluehost. So again, this is just the name of my website. It's just my name. You click check. It's going to take a little while to kind of work. Um, then it's going to ask you if you want to show all the advanced options. Um, I'm just going to click I've read everything, um, but if you want to see, you know, all your stuff, you know, that's fine. Again, it'll give you your password, which I guess I should change in case any of you guys want to log into my site, but I'm sure none of you will do that, right? Um, but anyway, it'll give you all your information, and again... What you can do, what I like to do, I just like to copy. So I'm just going to pages and I'm just copying that password for now. Um, so yeah, you just click install. And then what it's going to do, it's actually going to install WordPress onto your site. So it says, okay, we're setting up WordPress. Um, Basically, it's just asking if you want to upgrade, which you don't need to do. I mean, if you want to, you can, but you don't really need that. And again, you can view the details here and see as it works. But again, they have all these different themes that are available for purchase, uh, which basically is going to um have a different kind of look for what your uh, website will actually look like but i think a lot of the free options that they do have in wordpress are you know sufficient that you guys can kind of create you know your own and you don't have to worry about you know actually p buying a thing you know that you can just use a an option in wordpress so yeah that's pretty much it so now that we have WordPress actually installed what we're going to do now in the next video is actually go 
to what we call the back end of our site as an administrator and type in our username and password for WordPress.